Oh, all right, Billy. Give me some. What about an experience of some sort? You're skint. We're going to buy them. Trip of a lifetime to Redfield Bus Depot. Oh, this is a nightmare. Everything all right? No, he's Peter C. Capsana. Mm. What would you get him? Oh, can't help you there. Any news on Eileen? Uh, yes, yeah, she's uh, conscious, talking, so fingers crossed she'll be all right. Well, it's better could be safe for Anna. What was she playing at? Mm. Yeah, well, people do strange things when they're under pressure. I'm sure if she could turn back the clock. Yeah, well, there's some things you can't undo. No. Um, listen, um, I've got the year threes from Bessie Street coming down to the community centre now. The grotto's back in. And I am in need of a little helper, so I was wondering... No chance, sorry. I'm not health material. Oh, oh it's a shame, cos Eva's the only helper I've got. And to be honest, I'm a little bit worried about her costume. It's a little bit skimpy. Or she might be Rudolph the red-faced reindeer if she gets a bit carried away with her dancing. Well, I suppose maybe I could, uh, pop in. Yeah. On the off chance that she pops down. No, it'd be good publicity for the film. Yeah, of course. Who doesn't like to see their legal advisor dressed up as an elf? Great. OK, thank you very much. I will see you at 11, OK? See ya. Their laughter was cruel, so very unfair. You'd feel like a fool when they took to the air. Hey, I'll tell you what, she's going to be cold driving that sleigh, isn't she? Ooh. That's not the main attraction, just you wait. It... And Rudolph was glum. He wasn't himself. Then along came Sugar Plum, a kindly old elf. <laughs> oh, you are joking me. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. Cheer up, old friend. Cheer up, I say. Before the day's end, you'll guide Santa's sleigh. Not with this nose. My friends all mock. It is as red as a rose. I am a laughing stock. You're not the only one, love. Great. Now, did you all finish your milk and mince pies? Yeah! Good. And did you all remember to say a big thank you to Shona and Alex? Yeah! Great. Now, before you all go back to school with Mr Lockett, I have a surprise for you in the grotto. So, <laughs> close your eyes. No, uh, no peeking. <laughs> OK. Now you can... Keep them closed. Children, children, let's see if we can find a Christmas story. <laughs> hey. Any news on Eileen? Uh, well, she's um, she's a little bit shaken up, but touch with her now. She'll be all right, though. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't be letting her out otherwise. I feel bad telling her that Tony would kick off with Gary. Yeah, well, don't. I should have only heard it through someone else. I was going to wait for Todd, but with everything up in the air... Happy Christmas. There's still five more days yet. It's only small, don't get too excited. It's for the tree. Oh. This is brilliant. I used to make them for my dad, so I thought I'd make one for us. Oh, Summer. So sweet. You don't mind, do you? Mind? This is the best Christmas present I could ever get. Todd is going to love it. Great. Here he is. He didn't tell me much. Make him as part of the job description. Ah, oh, well, it goes back to the Middle Ages. See, vicars get paid to do weddings, so it's uh, in their interest. <laughs> Jumping the gun now. But thanks a lot. I appreciate it. What's that? Oh, it's, uh, it's for me and Todd from summer. It's from the tree. Oh, that's cute. No? Yeah. Uh, poor kid. There she is, planning a future with us. And... I could be inside by Christmas Day. That's not going to happen. And I'm not the only one wanting it. Peter wants it too. I've got a lot of friends right there, Bella. 